Left alone, the slow lorikeet is in no hurry and searches for fruit, nectar, insects and small mammals at night. Often referred to as shy, this tame but venomous primate faces a desperate struggle for survival. What exactly are slow lorises? Are they really that deadly? Why are they declining, and do they really have supernatural powers? If you're interested in reading more about the animal kingdom, we've put together this list of strange animals to pique your curiosity. Why not brush up on the animal math while we chat with Brian Butterworth? In our Instant Genius podcast? And slow lorises are not only said to have magical powers, did you know that some animals glow in the dark? If you want to know fun facts about animals all around the world that you know or have not seen before, start now by subscribing in 10 Animal Facts channel and clicking on the bell, so you don't miss anything let's continue. What is a slow lorikeet? The slow loris is a contradiction. They may be cute, bijou, and big-eyed, but they're also venomous, headstrong, and potentially deadly. The world's only venomous primate, these nocturnal hairballs live in the tropical rainforests of South and Southeast Asia. At least eight species are known, including the Sunda slow loris, the pygmy slow loris and the Bengal slow loris. All species are currently in decline. How slow are slow lorises? The 18th century explorers who first described them thought they were slow and lazy, hence the term slow loris was born. Even if it's a little unfair, Yes, they stay for hours, yes, they tend to move slowly, and yes, they freeze and hide behind their hands when startled, but they can also move when necessary, such as to catch an insect or to avoid a predator. Slow lorises live in trees, but they'll often freeze and hide behind their hands if startled. Where do you live? Slow lorises live in trees, where they adapt excellently to their environment. An extra pair of vertebrae in the middle of the spine, giving them flexibility and mobility. Unlike many other arboreal primates, who clash loudly in the forest, slow lorises are quiet and stealthy. You don't jump, they move cautiously, hand in hand, reaching into the gaps between the trees. They come down when they need to poop. What do they eat slow lorises are omnivores. They devour small birds, insects, reptiles, fruit, chewing gum and nectar. Their bottom front teeth are modified to form a structure called a comb tooth, which they use to brush and poke holes on tree trunks to get to the gums. A single animal can make more than a hundred holes in a single night, they also have a long, narrow tongue that helps them reach the gums and extract nectar from flowers. They usually hang upside down by their feet so they can eat with both hands. Wait a minute, why is he licking his armpits? Slow loris in defensive posture with arms raised above head to connect saliva to brachial gland. Bald spot on inner upper arm, this is called the brachial gland and secretes a poisonous, pungent oil. When the slow lorikeet feels threatened, it raises its arms and licks the gland. The saliva and oil mix, creating a toxic solution that is then drawn to the tip of the toothed comb by capillary action. If it bites another animal, the venom enters the victim's bloodstream. How strong is his bite, bad? The activated venom causes pain, swelling, and an oozing wound that takes years to heal. It can kill small mammals and arthropods and cause anaphylactic shock, cardiac arrhythmias and death in humans. Not so cute now, huh? What does a good loris like you do with such a deadly poison, good question. Although its venom can injure predators and kill small prey-sized animals, it appears that the slow loris tends to reserve its venomous chews for members of its own kind. In a recent study of 82 slow lorises in the wild, a third of the females and more than half of the males had horrific bite wounds from other lorises. The males fight for the females. Females fight to protect their young and both sexes fight to defend their territory, poison is also used passively as a deterrent. Before parking their young in a tree and heading out in search of food, the mothers lick their brachial glands and then groom their young so the venom is transmitted to the young's fur. This is believed to deter potential predators such as the clouded leopard and sun bear. Slow lorises have very different facial features that appear to give them a human-like expression but are actually a warning to predators. After watching the video to the end, what is the new information for you about this creature? Write it in the comments let's continue. What about the cute markers? 
Slow lorises have dark, teardrop-shaped markings around their large eyes and stripes down their backs. While this may seem cute to us, it's actually a warning sign. Facial markings draw attention to the biting, venomous snout, while contrasting coat tones indicate aggressiveness. This is called aposematic coloring, it's a trick many animals, including skunks, poison dart frogs, and ladybugs, used to announce that they're not worth attacking or eating. The stingray now looks a bit like a snake. So does the venom, the super flexible spine, and the aggressive snake noises Loris makes when threatened. One theory holds that these traits evolved as a form of imitation. Millions of years ago, slow lorises and cobras coexisted in Southeast Asia, so the lorikeets may have evolved snake-like characteristics to confuse potential predators, why are slow lorises important? Like all living creatures, slow lorises play an important role in their ecosystem. Preyed on by snakes, Bonelli's eagles, and the occasional orangutan, they are predators of smaller animals. Nectar, pollen transferred between flowers. When they eat and digest the fruit and then eject the seeds, they help reproduce the next generation of plants. Where do they fit in the primate family tree? Slow lorises belong to a group of primates called strepsirans, which also includes the lemurs of Madagascar, the bush babies and potholes of Africa, and the slender lorises of India and Sri Lanka. All members of the group have a wet nose called a rhinarium, a specialized sensory organ for detecting pheromones and a reflective coating in their eyes that aids in night vision. You can also make your own vitamin C, do slow loris have supernatural powers? Some people think like that. Javanese folklore has it that a drop of slow loris blood falling on the ground causes a landslide, while a loris placenta touches the ground and nothing grows. In Cambodia's Mondulkiri province, Hunters believe that lorises can heal their own broken bones and have medicinal powers because they are repeatedly beaten to death. Good luck, and yet historically they were used to curse enemies and bring bad luck. If a man on Java drinks water spiked with the skull of a slow loris, it is said to make him more submissive, but he eats the flesh of a slow loris. Slow lorises are said to have aphrodisiac properties, all slow loris species are in decline, what are the threats to the survival of slow lorises? They are adorable in appearance which is why they are sold for the pet trade and mysterious which is why they are sold for use in black and traditional magic. Medicine. In doing so, they are often physically stripped of their tusks and smuggled in the most appalling conditions. They are malnourished, stressed and the mortality rate is as high as 90%. Meanwhile, in the wild, their homes are being cut down and their habitat is shrinking, they are now among the rarest primates on Earth. How is its conservation status? Species of slow loris identified before 2012 are currently listed as vulnerable or vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Three newer species have yet to be officially assessed, but are also considered endangered. The Javanese slow loris population has declined sharply due to poaching for the exotic pet trade, IT is also used in research, related to traditional medicine. Here, a Javanese slow loris balances on a tree. 5 Amazing Facts About Slow Loris In the late 19th century, some Borneans believed that slow lorises were the sentinels of the sky and that everyone expected a slow loris in the afterlife. Slow lorises have two tongues, the upper one is used to drink nectar, while the lower one, called the sublingua, is used like a toothbrush to remove comb debris. When it's cold at night, slow lorises go into a hibernating state called torpor, where metabolism and body temperature are reduced. It can take days. They have a special network of capillaries in their hands and feet called Risha mirabilia that helps them hold onto branches for hours, without their fingers going numb. In India, are called the shy ones because they are very difficult to spot. In Java, they are called little fire faces because their eyes shine brightly in the light of torches. Loris is derived from the Old Dutch, Loris, and means clown. What information is the first time you know in this video, write it in the comments. And don't forget to watch the previous videos in the channel. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the upcoming wonderful videos. See you again in the next video.